Hi there, my name is Tim and I'm one of the creators of Lifeline and today we're going to look at session labels and the activity log, uh, which are both pro features. So when you launch a session as a pro user, uh, you will get this launch panel and you see here that it highlights uh, a label. So this is a session label, you can enter a label here. Um, you can also open this to view previous labels and you can uh, give an emoji uh, to a label. So you can give both a text label, uh, which is here, and you can give an emoji. And this can be handy, for example, in my case, um, I'm using this to categorize everything related to Saint, so what Lifeline is part of. And then I have another emoji, for example, to highlight uh, my daytime job where I'm writing at animals and I have another emoji for another project I'm involved in and the good thing about that is that as we'll see in the next video um, in the review panel where you can see all your statistics you then get a breakdown by both the emoji and the text label so that way for example I can see my total time spent uh, in for saints with everything that has this emoji and i see a more granular breakdown of every text label so you could say you know i have an emoji for saint and for example you see here i have a text label for email marketing but i could have another one for user research and another one for product management and then let's say i spent one hour in each of those categories i would see one hour for product management one hour for email marketing one hour for user research whatever but i would see three hours for this emoji so that's how you can play with the emojis and the text labels um, and so you can you can add them at the start of a session so let's say I start the session then now it's going then what I can do is I can use the session label shortcut or I can right click I think I haven't done this for a long time but I think I can right click here then I also get the session label of the current session and there's a bar here that we're fixing in the next uh, in the next update um, but so you can change the label mid session and you can also do that by pressing the shortcut, which is control option L. Uh, then you also get this and here you don't see the bug. And um, then you again get the option to change it at the end of your session. So when you end the session, you again here have an opportunity to change it. So let's say for whatever reason you ended up doing something else, which I mean normally is not what should happen, but maybe you, yeah, you, you or you were qu finished very quickly with this and you started to do something else. What I sometimes do is I use a label called small tasks. Um, so I might say, oh, I have a bunch of small stuff, so I'll just do that in this session. And then it turns out I get stuck on one thing and I end up doing that thing for most of the, of the session, let's say email marketing. So then here at the end, I will then change it to that label. So that's kind of what you can do just before, during and after your session with session labels. You can also in preferences, um, uh, change here the default emojis that your sessions will get and then you will see this data show up in the activity log so when you go here you get a rundown of every session that you've done that day and you can cycle through the days by clicking here so then you see other other things and um, he, so here, first of all, you can make changes. So you can say, oh, this was actually not email marketing. It was uh, user research, for example. So you can change the label. You can change the, the icon, of course. What you can also do here is you can change the length. So I could say, oh, this was actually not two minutes. It was actually one minute, for example. So it's, it goes by five minute increments. That's why it's a bit weird because this is a very short session. So now I've put it to zero seconds. But um, uh, you can only make it shorter. So you cannot make sessions longer uh, because then it gets very complicated because then it needs to take into account the next session and all these kind of things. But what you can do, you can also add manual sessions. So I could say, okay, let's delete this one because it was actually wrong. And then I can click the plus sign here and then I can say add an activity after or before. And so I can add a manual session, a manual meeting, and I can also do things like sports, meditation and sleep. So. We don't have any automated way of doing this, but if you want to use it for tracking, you can see, for example, here that I have added a run here in the morning. So I put all my runs in um, because then I see them also my lifeline. For example, here you see um, you see that I've had a run there. So that's that kind of that's kind of nice. But in the future, we're planning to add some more data analysis um, opportunities and capabilities and so then it could be very useful to have this kind of information because then for example you could query your data and then you can even do that now actually when you export it so here you can export 
your data to a CSV. And so then if you load it into Excel or you load it even into something like ChatGPT or other programs that can do data analysis, you can query your data and say, okay, can you look for patterns on like which days I was more focused or I had longer sessions or whatever. And then having this kind of information in there, like a run or a meditation or uh, your sleep and things like that could be very useful because then whoever or whatever is analyzing your data could see, oh, hey, on days that you have runs, you actually have better sessions or shorter sessions or longer ones or whatever. So um, that's kind of what you can do here in the activity log. So you can play around with it. You can you can change the length. You can add manual sessions and, and all these kind of things. So hopefully that's useful. And tomorrow we'll go to the review panel and there you then see more. So this is really a log where you see everything like session by session. And then in the review panel, you can look at the aggregate of all that data uh, and also on different time frames. So you can look on daily basis, weekly basis and things like that. But so that's for tomorrow's video. Um, and yeah, hope this is useful and see you in the next one. Bye bye.